What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're going to look at only fading in the captcha box when someone is typing in their email or when the box is hovered. So we're gonna fade out the recaptcha box and then we're gonna use some pretty clever CSS to make it 100% opacity whenever someone has clicked in the input field or when they've hovered over the recaptcha box. So the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and target our recaptcha box. So I'm gonna right click on it and I wanna find the outermost container that houses all of the contents of the recaptcha box. So I'm gonna scroll up, up, up. Uh, and then here, here we can see this is the outermost element that contains all of the contents of the CAPTCHA container and it has a class of CAPTCHA container. So I'll double click on that and we'll use that class to target this element. And in CSS you use the period to target classes. So I'm gonna go ahead and target my CAPTCHA container and I'm gonna give it an opacity of 0.3. Now the way that we're going to target this CAPTCHA container when someone has clicked on the input is using the focus within pseudo selector. So it's a really cool pseudo selector because basically it allows us to target an element. And in this case, we're gonna be targeting the form body because it houses uh, both the input and also the CAPTCHA container. Uh, so I'll, I'll toggle this element open and you can see I'm highlighting the email field over here. And so what the focus within selector allows you to do is when an input inside of an element has focus, basically you can you know, do things to other elements within that same parent element. So whenever someone clicks or is typing in this input element, we're going to then look for the capture container, which is also inside this newsletter form body, and then we're gonna set its opacity to one. So I'm gonna grab this class here, and we'll drop down below, and I, Again, target classes with a period. And now we're gonna use the focus within selector, and then we're gonna target the CAPTCHA container. And we'll set the opacity to one. So now whenever someone clicks in the input box, we get the CAPTCHA container being 100% opacity. So that's pretty neat. Um, but it's a little bit abrupt right now. I want it to be a little bit smoother. So let's go ahead and throw on a transition and we'll transition the opacity 0.3 seconds, and I'll throw an ease on that. So now it'll be a little bit smoother. Now I forgot my semicolon above. Okay, so now it should work. When we type in the input box, we get our recaptcha fading in. Now I also wanna fade it in when someone's just hovering over the recaptcha box. So let's go ahead and add some CSS for that. So basically, whenever someone is hovering over the CAPTCHA container, and we can just add the hover pseudo selector, we also want the opacity to be one. So when these two conditions are met, our opacity is gonna be one. So now when I hover over it, perfect, fades in, and when I am typing in the email box, uh, it also gets an opacity of one. So it's a really simple CSS to get this to work. Uh, but you can also have recaptcha containers on forms. So let's go over the CSS for that as well, because this CSS that we wrote was specific to the newsletter block. So we need to also make sure that it works on this form as well. Cause you can see when we just click in an input, nothing is happening. So basically we just have to find an element on the form that houses both the inputs and the recaptcha container. And so we can just come up and um, honestly, like form wrapper should be just fine because the form wrapper contains all of the elements of the form. So you can see here in our field sets, we have, if I toggle this open, we have our inputs. So because our inputs and our CAPTCHA container are both inside of this form wrapper, that should be a fine class to use. So again, I'll target the form wrapper with a period, and then I'm just gonna grab this focus within. Okay, so now we're saying when the form wrapper has an input that has focus on it, we then wanna target the CAPTCHA container as well. 
So now, okay, we, the hover is working, and now when we click on an input, it's also working on the form. So it's a nicer solution, I think, because the recaptcha container is pretty ugly. So this should be a better way to at least kind of soften the blow of how ugly the recaptcha container is. And one thing I want to add is it's always important to comment your CSS just so when you come back in the future, you know exactly what it does. So I'm just going to throw on a comment here and just make sure that I know in the future that this is the recaptcha CSS. And I like to do these divider lines just because it makes it more clear as I'm scrolling through the CSS, you know, when there's a, a divide or when there's a new chunk of CSS. And then I'll also denote the end of it. All right, that is it for this one. If you thought, hey, that was kind of cool and you want to learn more Squarespace tips and tricks in the future, consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.